a participation quiz is a strategy to support getting more participation amongst your groups in your class. It's a great time to hold kids accountable for the norms and the mathematical thinking that you want in your groups and a way to give feedback for students. So when you are giving a participation quiz or you're thinking about one that you can use tomorrow, you want to make sure that the task in front of students is something that they can make sense of on their own and is challenging enough to where they need each other. You don't want it to be something that they can do on their own because then they'll separate and just you know, write individually. You want there to be talking and discussion. It's a time for you as a teacher to take a step back and while your groups are working on a group worthy task, you are writing up feedback for every group. You could do this under your document camera with a, a section for each group, or I like to have posters around near each group so that you will see that the feedback is public. It's in the moment and it's specific. So you want to make sure that your feedback is public for your entire class so that every group can see the feedback of what are you valuing in your classroom. And if it's public, then other groups can also see each other's uh, feedback. The reason I think this is because, so that followed a statement, that is key. I saw some rotating of papers to make sure that people were um, seeing from certain orientations and to help them make it needs to be in the moment. You want to get up a lot of information from every single group. So if you're going and you have, say, eight groups, and you realize that right now group five doesn't really have a lot of thinking up there, I need to really start looking and trying to capture some more evidence to write up there. What I can write up there can be quotes from students. This means something they're pointing to, it's slowing down. It could be body language, like leaning in or using the middle space or it might say, oh, they followed their role today. The facilitator was reading the task out loud. Really want to be as specific as possible so that later when you're reviewing the participation quiz with your class, they have concrete examples of what it means to be mathematical thinkers in collaboration with others into the next future days. And you will watch your kids like, they'll smile, they'll sit up a little straighter, and you wanna make sure that you're talking to the whole class so that the other kids across the way are also looking at you know, who you're pointing out in a way that they're going, oh, okay. So next time Jose's in my group, I know he's gonna ask these really important questions for us. And so what we're trying to do is we're trying to you know, change our dynamics in our classroom. We're trying to change this idea of who can be a math learner and who's smart in math to everybody is smart in math and all of you in my class are smart in math.